What's good, Wells Nation? It's your boy Wells, and I'm back with another video. So, a few days ago, I posted a video saying Ronnie 2K, I mean, Agent Up Zero versus Ronnie 2K, because Ronnie was on stream capping a lot, talking about Agent and saying how he helped him come to America and stuff like that. But Agent responded, so we will react to that video today here live. Um, yeah, so I did, I did go um look at the video already but we're gonna react again um i did look at ronnie's stuff and ronnie has yet to reply on twitter about the accusations okay but yeah so um let's just get right into it let's watch the video if y'all new to the channel man make sure you guys subscribe drop a like sub up grind to 10k i want to pre i want to say thank you to everybody that hit that subscribe button on my channel we're like wait it's 6,500 like 40 subscribers now so we gained about like 30 subscribers in the last month i know a lot of people see bigger growth than that but i'm still happy to see we're finally etching etching up and moving on so yes yeah, so let's get right into this video and i love each one every you guys no homo man like, you know what I mean? all right guys so um this is agent's respond to running 2k yeah let's get right into it like i'm not even gonna hold it back no more. i didn't think it'd ever get to this point but here we are running 2k hops on live streams and actively lies to people about the accusations but here we are running 2k hops on live streams and actively lies about me. And the lies have been progressively getting worse to the point where he just feels really comfortable talking about private details in my life. Yeah, Public. he does, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's testing me, yo, because I genuinely feel like he's been baiting me to make this video. Because he knows all the things he's saying in his streams that aren't true. I get just exposed, and I would benefit from that. The only problem is I think that there's gonna be some innocent people that are caught in the crossfire, and I didn't want to be the one to fire that bullet. But Understood. I genuinely think he wanted Understood. me to, because otherwise, why would he keep doing it? I get, Ronnie, if you're on your live stream playing 2K and all of my fans are in there saying, where's Agent's logo? You might be tempted to talk about yeah. me. You, you might even be tempted to make a couple fat jokes. Go ahead, Ronnie, but stop lying. Tell the truth or just keep it shut, my guy. Keep it, come on, you know how to stream? If you see something sense. you don't like in the chat, don't address it. That's how it works. I'm a little frustrated because he every time he streams, I get dozens of messages on my phone from people asking me whether or not what he said was true. Ronnie, pay very close attention to what's happening. It took you two months to ruin your credibility and be known as a certified pathological liar in the NBA 2K community. Yes. You've had NBA players tweet out the hashtag fire Ronnie 2K. You think that happens to a person who's incompetent at his job? I meant competent at his job. Cause there's plenty of people to love in NBA 2K. Mike Wang saved the franchise back in 2K11. This has been booming ever since. Literally. LD2K loves the community so much that he's basically working two jobs. One as a community manager, which he doesn't get paid to do, and the other as a host of 2K TV. That's yep. not his job, but he loves it. So that's what he does. Ronnie, the impression people get from you is that you feel like you're above us. We're all human, but you feel like you gen like oh those measly guys in the 2K community. And you always look elsewhere. When Keemstar puts out a tweet, you're first person to respond. Let's work. You don't want AJ has a valid point with that, okay? And and, and the reason why I say that is because it's kind of like, we make you! Without the community, you would be nothing. The same way with my subscribers. My subscribers make me. If I didn't have my subscribers, I would just be a person that played video games. Let's be real. You feel me? And the same way with agent subscribers make him like it, how to put it ronnie you wouldn't have half the stuff you have if it wasn't for 2k and the community that, that backs you up if we don't back you up you ain't got no money you can't buy that ferrari ronnie so think about that man just keep that in mind bro what your drill job is all right you want to work with us we're not good enough for you. So if you can't see right. that's what's been never happening work with us. the past few months, I don't know what's gonna save you. All right, let's get to the lies. Cause I'm frustrated. Cause I don't wanna have to look at my phone and deal with that. Especially when it comes to private matters about my life. I keep it private for a reason. Yeah. None of you have any business we, knowing about we it. Don't, but bro. here we go. We, we don't. gotta make it all public at this point. Everything started when I wasn't invited to community day. Do we remember that? A, a week went by, two weeks went by. I ain't received a single thing in my email. Everybody else did. And so I put out a tweet saying, wasn't invited to community day. Ronnie 2K responded to that saying false news. I responded, nobody communicated that with me. So he just acted, he just called me a liar publicly. The yep. frustrating part was, is people began to question my integrity when he said that. And that pissed me off, cause it's like, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. He just lied and now some people are gonna walk around believing that lie. Didn't get the invite, didn't go to the event. The game came out. I was wondering if Ronnie was gonna give me a logo. I didn't think he would, but I was like, he kind of has to, right? It'd be weird if he gave it to everybody but me. 
It kind of looked like he had a vendetta. Yep. You know I mean? He had something against yep. me. Game <laughs> came out, I ain't get a logo. So of course, I got to doing what I do best, laughing about the situation. That's what we did. We just made a whole lot of jokes, making funny videos, and you guys enjoyed them. I loved making them. So the people that watched those videos went into Ronnie's streams like, yo, where's Agent's logo? Where's I, Agent's I was logo? One of I them. get that you may be tempted to say something because it's like it's happening all stream. You kind of have to address it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to address it, don't lie about it or just ignore it. Like you have two options here. And so this was Ronnie 2 ks response when he was asked for the 500th time in his stream <laughs> why I don't have a logo. I've already talked about Agent's logo. He's scanned from last year, but he didn't want to. He's got to release his likeness to us and he didn't sign the contract. So, so it's like a one year um, contract or without something? Without a scan, I can't uh, put his logo on there. All right, here we go. I just want to remind you that you were the first person to bring up the contract. I tried to avoid bringing it up, but here we go. <laughs> it's so wildly misleading the way he just phrased that. Oh my God, Ronnie is good. I swear to you, he's good. <laughs> he might not be a good representative of Definitely anybody, not a good representative. but he's a good businessman and he could sell you on anything. He could convince you that dump on the floor deserves to be a decoration on your wall. I swear to you. If we're being honest, Ronnie, the likeness that part. You got a dump on your floor, Agent? Uh <laughs> I hope you got a dog, and I hope you're not sitting on the floor, big dog. Just, just saying. What you're referring to was a footnote in that massive contract you sent that had a whole lot of terms, none of which I was comfortable with. I told him, and I'll tell you guys, everybody mm. knows, all I care about is creating content. Anything I feel like gets in the way of that, I'm not interested in being a part of, ever. If you right. told me that if I sign, right. I get a chance to do a video with this person, this person, go to this place, get this access, I mean, unless there's horrible terms that come with it, sign me up. Okay, so it sounds like you gotta sell your soul to get a logo on 2K. And I'm not gonna lie, now that that makes me question. It it, under, it makes me understand now why a lot of YouTubers don't really speak on the fact, right? For you got like people like Chris London, Cash, Duke, Ticino, iPod. I think the only person I really know that like say something like kind of like simply grinding. But it it really sh it shows a lot that like this explains why people don't really like. So they unraw and cut opinion. They kind of like water it down and be like, you know, well, you know, 2K not that bad, you know, stuff like that. So honestly, so okay, so the contract pretty much probably states something along the lines saying that you can't bash the game, you can't talk bad about the game. We'll give you a logo. Hoopty wop it up, bop, bop, scooby da, bop, do. That's probably what some along the lines of that. Because I mean, he said you could. They they offer you all this stuff, and they probably offered them community day logos, probably like. I don't know. I don't think they're big enough. You know, I know Cash them got videos, but they probably also said you can't talk bad about the game. So eh, that's tough, man. That's tough. But in this situation, I don't want to go into the details of the contract because that would take forever. If I had to rate the contract at a 10, it would be a two out of 10. And the only reason it's not a one is because people were promised logos and verification here. But the thing is, there's plenty of people who have verifications and that have face scans that didn't sign. They didn't even sign. So why do I have to? Why do I have to, but they ain't have to? That's the part that I just didn't understand. I truly don't understand. The thing is, is I'm not even angry I don't have a logo. At this point, it's just kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. I don't need it. I still get games regardless, but it would be nice to have. That's kind of where I'm at right now. But this has nothing to do with logos, verifications, face scans. It has to do with the fact that you're actively misleading thousands of people. And it's not a good look. Yeah, he did it, it again. Bad. And this Especially time he was talking about matters in my private life. This is what he said. That's be in America if it wasn't for me. I helped him with a visa and now, like, you guys don't know the full story. Like, I helped him with a visa so he could come to America. I wrote him a letter. And then he has the audacity to continue to act poorly towards me. So, yeah. I now, I spoke on this on my last video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll put a card up here somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Do whatever you like. Just make sure you go check out the video. I spoke on this um, this live stream on my last video. And honestly, I said, I'm say, I said it and I'm going to say it again. Just because you help somebody, that doesn't mean they owe you. Out of anything, Agent, it's rarely been a great friend of you by telling you the truth. I mean, whether you want to take it or not, it's a grain, as a grain of salt. You as as the face of a billion dollar company, mm, you need to understand that there's certain things you can do and there's certain things you can't do. Um, you your level of professionalism is very um, as far as we can see as a community, it's terrible. 
and um, take that how you want. You know, I ain't signed no contract, so what you gonna do to me? So. I, I don't, I don't really like that very much. If I do you a favor of such a magnitude, that's a problem. So, and he can do, he can say whatever he wants. He knows the truth. That's my issue with Agent. If I do you a favor of such magnitude. All right, here we go. Now we got to talk about my visa. Jesus, who thought I'd get to this point? So I apply for an O-1 visa. It's people of extraordinary ability. Usually athletes, artists, entertainers will go for this visa. Allows a lot of flexibility, yada, 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 but it's hard to get. You need a lot of help. A lot of them signed it. Ronnie was one of the people who signed it. So he did help. He's not lying about that. But I, I did speak on his visa as well. I, I didn't know exactly which visa it was, but he did let us know right here in this video. It's an O-1 visa. My man, Agent, you do have some incredible, uh, incredible gifts, okay? Like, I mean, I love all your videos, bro. They're hilarious. I found it crazy that this wasn't the only time he used the, I signed a visa for him, so I can't believe I didn't get this kind of treatment. What am I supposed to do? You want me to sign any contract you send me, even if it makes no sense for my channel? Yep. Think about it. You know you what do. terms were in that contract. It would absolutely compromise anything and everything I do on this channel. So no, I didn't feel comfortable signing it. I told oh. you I didn't feel comfortable signing it. Why oh, he said if he signed the contract, it would compromise everything he do on the channel. And we all know Agent Channel was pretty much just making fun of 2K and just being completely brutally honest. So, uh, yeah, so maybe I was right when I said maybe you can't talk bad about the brand. Maybe you can't talk bad about the developers. Maybe you can't say anything negative about 2K. And probably that's what they said. They probably told him he had to stop making his uh, little rant videos and meme videos. And I don't think that sits uh, close to Agent's heart because I feel like he really do cares about 2K. And he's not in it just for himself. He's really in it for us. So I can understand why you wouldn't want to sign it, bro. Why are we pushing it to this point? This is not the only time he used the visa thing as a way to get me to do something, as leverage. I'm telling you YouTubers right what now, I you swear you, be careful. There's some people that will do things for you out of the goodness of your heart. There's other people that will only do it if it benefits them. Do not mess with those people. It's dangerous. You'll sign something you very, very much regret. But here's the part Ronnie doesn't know. I didn't use the documents he sent me in my visa because they expired. And when I asked my immigration lawyer whether or not I should contact him to see if he'll sign it again, she said, no, we're good, mm. we have enough. I trust her, she's good at her job. We submitted the visa, hallelujah, I was accepted, yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never smiled and screamed of happiness and joy so, so much until that day I knew I was approved. That was literally one of the greatest days of my life, I'm not lying. So yep. I'm eternally grateful for anybody who helped with that process. Ronnie, you did sign those documents, yep. but you didn't play a role in me getting here. So I don't Boom. want you walking around thinking you could just say, Agent came to America because of me. That's, That's what not you're doing. cool. That's what you're right, doing, so let me just dog. give you some context here. One of the other people I reached out to was Shane from the Raptors Uprising. He signed a deal memo and a letter of recommendation, knowing that if I got I don't accepted, know what a deal memo that is, everything would change. I'll look it up I would no longer be in Toronto. We can't do business the way we used to. And he still signed it. So you see what I'm saying? There's some people that are genuine and are always looking out for you. And there's others that just do things to find a new way to use you. I'll say Ronnie. this though. There was a couple videos in the last four months on this channel where Ronnie2k messaged me and was basically tried to check me and say, I didn't like that video. Why would you post that video? Sometimes he'd even say things like the devs hated that video. Even though I knew. How you gonna check somebody, bro? We in America, bro. You have the freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want. Just because he bashing your game, bro, that don't give you no right to message him. How about this? Message him and give him a logo. How about that? How about that? Message him and give him a freaking logo. Dude, he wasn't talking about the developers. He was talking about 2K Sports, the publisher. Why do I have to deal with this? I didn't get into YouTube to be in politics or to be in drama. That's Agent B Star's job. <laughs> My job is to play the I game and make funny videos. That's it. That's the only thing I want to do. So when you lie about me, you drag me into the shit you. Man, I'm going hard. I'm sweating this video. <laughs> I have a talent. I swear this, Agent you House really got to be tell. like on 80 so degrees, So the purpose bro. of this video is not me to rant or I'm be angry. Stay I just want to set the record straight. Ronnie, we could have had a very cordial relationship, right? There's plenty of people that have helped me, and then I didn't want to re-sign with them for whatever reason, and we moved on. And I respect them. They respect me. We still have a business relationship. Keep it at that. That's all this had to be. But instead, you helped this grudge. I don't get a logo. I don't get invited to the events. I bet. 
But then when you have to explain why those things are happening, you can't just lie about it. That's and true. I know for a fact that a lot of people would have said something too, but there's a lot of people that can't. Legally, they cannot say See? it. I said it. It mean they can't talk negative This should about be a reality own. check for you, Ronnie. Okay. I know you think that you're untouchable because you have all the celebrity contacts and 2K Sports needs you. And I'm they not saying fire they Ronnie, really cancel Ronnie, them. whatever. But the fact that there is so many, an overwhelming amount of people that are unhappy with you should say something. If I saw that in the comment section, I'd know the video I posted was ass and I should never do it again. I'd switch up. I don't even know what the purpose of this video is because you know he's not going to do anything different. He's yeah. just going to hop on another stream and make a new lie. But it's so odd because I wasn't the only person who didn't sign. So why am I the only person getting treated like this? It makes no sense. The reason I didn't want to make this video is because a lot of you guys are going to think, who who signed? I mean, who did sign that contract? Yeah, Ronnie was I want to know who signed. And then you're going to think who of the them like they did something signed? bad. In reality, they just got bamboozled. It wasn't their fault. Yo, I'm telling you right now, no matter how how much integrity you think you have, when a person walks up to you and tells you, you could be face scanned and verified in the game you grew up playing your dream, then it doesn't matter what is on the other side of that contract, you're gonna sign it. And a lot of people I'm gonna read, I'm gonna They're read not it. bad people. I'm so that's the it. reason I didn't wanna make a video like this because I don't want them to get any negative attention because we if the truth comes out, attention. for whatever reason, the contract gets leaked. I'm, Leak I'm, the not contract! Me negatively. Well, I wanna read you know, it. I didn't sign it. So, I mean, it's whatever, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted everyone to know what the truth was and hopefully I'll never have to respond to Ronnie again. Stick to the fat jokes, Ronnie. Stick to the fat jokes. Stick to the fat it's dude. crazy, because when I make jokes about Ronnie, it's always about something he's done. But Ronnie it. makes jokes about me, it's about my physical appearance. I, I might just hop on a video and start making fun of his physical appearance, see how he likes it. But we're probably both used to it, we're online, right? I mean, he catches a lot of hate, for sure. And I, I mean, half of you guys are trolls, so I deal with it on a regular basis, too. You've told me plenty of things that you would hate if it went public. And I'm not saying no in this video here. There's some videos on the screen. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate LD2K and Baluba and all those guys who truly care. Because right. it's, it's just in contrast. It's such a big difference. Jesus. Peace out, y'all. All right. Well, that's Agent Response. Um, he really, it's honestly, pretty much a whole video really about nothing. Just kind of been, he really didn't say anything juicy himself. He said a little key things like, you know, people weren't legally able to say something. You knew the terms of the contract. You know, it would compromise my channel. And then, you know, Ronnie trying to check him and stuff. So, I mean, my personal opinion on the matters is that if you sign with 2K, you pretty much sign in with the devil on the dotted line. Uh, I know a lot of us want a logo. I want a logo. But if it costs me my integrity and my honesty, I can't. I honestly can't sign something like that. But, yeah, if you guys like the video, man, drop a like. Comment down below um, your favorite part of the video. Would you sign the contract? Actually, yeah, comment down below. Would you sign the contract? I would love to know if you guys would sign the contract. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.